For those of you that are out of the loop, I, I recently got a new PC because my old one was lagging all the time. But this one's crashing all the time, so is that even better? I'd argue that's worse. I'd rather lag than crash. That's the server you want. What is my purpose? You get Let's okay. see what he can do. Okay? It, it saved, it saved. Whew. I was worried that I would like corrupt the file. Uh, oh sh**. Wow, nice job technology. Crash proof, sort of. So, yesterday, my stream crashed in a different way. Uh, it was related to like my Fire Emblem. And my tech guy looked into it and he was able to figure out that the reason we were crashing was because my capture card was set to 60 FPS instead of 30. So I thought after that we'd be fine, but I guess not. Uh, so I don't want to get you guys like really scared and anxious, but if it does crash one more time, I am going to say the dang word. You are definitely not the hero. I'm not kidding. I, I really will say dang. When I was 21, most of my revenue came from ads specifically. So what I would do whenever I my stream DC'd is I would calculate the amount of viewers I lost. Oh wow, Lucian 2. I would calculate the amount of viewers I lost, and then I would do the math on how much ad revenue loss that is, and then I would sit there and be like, at internet providers, Madge, you cost me $56 this today. You cost me $200 today. And then just like sit there shaking my fist angrily in the air. It was really pointless, because like, you know, you already DC'd, what can you do about it? Back then my internet, or uh, the reason I would crash was because my internet would just randomly go out once a month. It was really annoying. If it happened to go out during a time where you had a lot of viewers, it was like a lot of money lost. Ooh, consistency. Alright, we win streaking, boys. I think you like lose a lot of momentum. Like for example, we had 4,000 viewers before the crash and now we're at sitting at 1,700. When you DC, you lose a lot of momentum, and it's like, uh, it almost like makes you just like not want to stream, because like I'll just like try again later. Usually your best move when you DC, usually your best move when you DC is to just like end your stream for the day and then just try again tomorrow with like a fresh head. Uh, from my experience, every time I like continued streaming after a DC, usually it's like a little depressing, kind of tilted. I'm thinking like a lot of wasted progress. It's just kind of an all-around suck situation. It actually sucks that you lose so many viewers when uh, you crash. Like, my stream was offline for less than one minute, and I lost, like, 2,500 viewers out of 4,000. I kind of don't blame people, though, because, like, when I watch content, if if I'm not, like, moment-to-moment -moment invested, I'll just, like, click somewhere else, because I have, like, an attention span of four seconds. Thank you for continuing to stream. Oh, don't thank me. I literally have to stream. Imagine streaming 10 days of Fire Emblem in a row on a schedule and then randomly not streaming Fire Emblem. I can't do that to the people who are engaged in the run. Haha, <laughs> engaged. All right, check this out. I call this the belt diff. Oh my God. The biggest, wettest belt diff of our lives. I'll make this look easy. I want a level. I, I want. I'm playing consistency. I have to win streak. Quick draw. So every two projectiles, fire a bonus projectile. It sucks that this projectile doesn't give you glimpses. That'd have been a cool synergy. Are you gonna finish firing them today? No, nah, dude. The the chapters are so hard. They're taking me like three hours each. Yesterday. We streamed Fire Emblem for six hours. We only got through two chapters. Because there's only like five chapters left in the game. So like every single chapter is insanely hard. We had like six close calls yesterday. But somehow we managed to get through with zero deaths. Which is actually amazing. There was a really close moment where Alchris had an 87% chance to die. And he somehow... Or actually it was more than 87%. He had to dodge an 87% chance hit and then get a Luna proc. Which was 35%. So he had like a 95% chance of dying and he survived somehow. It was crazy. What's crazy is I didn't even know he was gonna die. I just like, 
I was tired and fatigued and I didn't calculate it correctly. And I didn't realize that he was like on the verge of death. A lot of units like had access to him that I didn't expect. Okay. I kind of want Guard Breaker, but I already slammed the belt on Poppy to win the round. So now we might as well go Redemption. Oh yeah, today's gonna be a spicy day because today we're going to figure out who we're getting married to. Pog? Do you think one Morgana does more damage than uh I think one Morgana does more value than an Ezreal? Um I'm kinda thinking of just using this Nico on my Wukong right now, just to, like have the highest chance of five streaking. I'm like actually thinking about it, because this is like a lesser champion duplicator, so you can only use it on tier three or less champions. So then I'm thinking like you could just use it to get your Wukong and get the five streak. I've got consistency, so winning is everything. I right, I'll scout the matchups and see if it's necessary. Oh my god! Wait, okay, boom. What? Pog? She's so big and mommy! Dude, she looks unusually, like, cool compared to everyone else. Like, she looks like a legendary unit. Wait, that was, like, the single best Nico Valley I've ever gotten. That's actually crazy what happened. This guy's got two Nikos? Man, Lucian is definitely one of the most satisfying level or one cost units. It's like what Sivir spell should be. Like, uh, the old Sivir would once in a while throw a pizza, and the problem is like it very often missed or overkilled units. Lucian has a low mana cost, low commitment spell that just goes on a unit, and if it like, misses, it's like, it's okay. Alright, I don't expect it to hit all the time. Wow, I would have actually... Riven's future. Oh, I actually would have had uh, the Morgana anyway. I mean, I don't regret doing that, though. After learning about um, oat milk and coconut milk, I don't think I'll ever go back to regular milk. Do you still work out? Nope. I really should, but I've just started dieting instead. How's your pre-diabetes going? Uh, I think it's fine. I had, I bought a blood sugar test or whatever it's called, and I had Annie do it on me multiple times and the test results look fine. Nothing too alarming. I haven't been having that much sugar lately. I have my coffee. I have the occasional boba, and that's about it. And then uh, I found out a super secret life hack uh, to lose weight. It's called forgetting to eat. I know, isn't that crazy? I just used forget to eat no jutsu, where um, if I order a lot of food, I used to like order like food for the entire day because I know I'll forget later. Oh, wait, hang on. Uh, oh fuck, I only have defenders, so I'm only gonna get defenders or threats. Crap, I didn't really want, oh crap, I didn't really want defender. I always forget about hero augments. Um, what do I, do I even want to reroll for anything? I'll just keep getting defenders. Maybe I could reroll for a threat. Maybe I'll reroll for like a Morgana specifically one. Here's Ramus. Let's try this Shen one. Maybe it's interesting. Your team takes less damage across the board. I don't know what I'm going to play this game, but we'll just do a random flex board. But yeah, so what I was saying was um, before every stream, I would order like an entire day's worth of food and then I would just like slowly inhale it throughout the stream. And then I would finish my stream and then eat more food. It was really bad. So now I just like barely order any food and then I just forget to eat for the entire day. I finish my stream, I eat one meal and then pog. I got through the whole day with like 1500 calories. Which for someone of my weight is really low. I think for me to like maintain my weight, I need to eat 2500 calories a day. Wait, I think I lose. Wait, no, not like this. This twist of it has one HP left. No, dude. 
If only my poppy just barely finished him off. Damn, if I had like one chain vest worth of armor. What is your weight? I'm 195 pounds. Damn, goodbye consistency. Honestly, I was probably supposed to level to seven there. Just cause like you have consistency win streak. I mean, now that I know I lost, obviously we should have done it. But uh, before I even it did the round, like a win streak is worth so much money with consistency that if your best move is probably just like level up and roll. It's fine. I'm already like in a pretty good spot. So I should figure out what I'm gonna play here. So the only real commitment is I have this Shen augment. And Shen is a defender infinity team. Wait, who's the four cost infinity team? Is that Garen? Oh, that's the no, sorry, that's that's the four cost. Oh wait, it's a TF game. Wait, Pog? It's a TF game. Oh yeah, give me the bow, and then I go for Gwinsu's TF. Wait, I'm so excited, we haven't played TF yet. The other guy has one? Yeah, but he has one. He's got one. I need a new Lucian so I can move the items over. Or ideally a Pantheon. Okay, so I want to turn this into a rod. Hey. Give it to Lucian for now. Okay, I'm done to sack the entire stage, actually. So let's not level up here. Let's just sit here and chill, look cute. And then uh, sack the entire stage, get the four loss streak with consistency. And then we're gonna, hear me out. We're gonna go eight. We go eight and then, holy shit, we just roll it straight down for a TF2. Favorite shooter game of all time. And then we just win the game. 10 streak consistency from that point onwards. Hello, Zatharok. Thanks, two months. Oh yeah, I remember Gwinsu is not very good on Lucian because his ability doesn't give him four triggers of it. So what does this Shen thing do again? When you cast your ability, you take 24% reduced damage. That sounds really good. That sounds like insanely good. And by default, you gain 8% reduced damage. That's like your whole team is just, I don't know, 15% tankier. That's a really good support augment. You played Team Fortress 2. Oh, I love Team Fortress 2. Team Fortress 2 is like... I feel like it's what shooters should have been. It was like... Very chill. I, I remember like... You could kill people by like... Posting pictures of hot girls on the wall. And then people would come over and look at it. And you would just kill them while they're looking at the, the booba. One of the funniest ways to get kills. But now like... Due to like content moderation. Like that kind of stuff is no, no longer possible because the internet has gotten really edgy. So people will, would instead use that for like the, the wrong kind of purpose. I enjoyed going to a two fort server and just having fun playing capture the flag. Box box, I tried it once, it felt very clunky. Oh, it's clunky in today's standard. Actually, surprisingly, TF2 is still kind of popular today. I was really surprised by that. But uh, the point I wanted to make was uh, TF2, uh, for its time, was insanely good. It was released in, like, 2007. Right? Like, nowadays, Valorant is, like, what a shooter should be. What was your favorite class in TF2? Oh, I, I love the Spy. But that's because I didn't actually know how to shoot. I actually enjoyed playing the mind games. The two builds I'm looking for here are, uh, the Jin or TF angle. So, if we're going for the Jin angle, uh, you grab Jin, you move items from Lucian to that guy. Uh, you play the Rift Walkers, and you look for a Viego and a Leona. If you're playing TF, you get the TF, and after that, I have no idea. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put some on the Infinity Team spot. Right. Level 7, 72 gold here is kind of crazy. Surprisingly close fight. This guy's got three Nikos, by the way. Verdant Veil. Oh, high end shopping? Is it time to get a legendary? 
Right. Uh, okay, what can we get? Oh my god! Wait, down to just like sell, sell, and just like do something legendary. Down just like grab every high cost unit and see what happens. Here's the Tio. I don't have any synergies for him besides Infinity Team though. Maybe I just play around this Ezreal. Oh my god! Wait, that Twisted Fate looks so cool. Maybe Infiniteam Legendary Flex with Ezreal and TF Carry. This physically looks so satisfying. It's time to duel. He draws six cards and draws another card after every auto attack. And then after 2.5 seconds, he throws all of his drawn cards. It's like Kaisa from set six. Look at him go. He just goes. That's so satisfying. Oh my god, this unit is too cool! Do I dare go double Quinsu's TF? Quinsu's gone. Alright, I'll, ma I'll make a shiv. Alright, let me just roll and see if I can hit something. Buddy, can you print me three gold? Okay, eyes on this one star TF. Oh, he's dead. Okay, that's awkward. Oh, I'm gonna get owned. Can we at least print three gold? None? Uh-oh. Fuck, I'll just lock. But man, that sucks. Lose two gold. Oh, I definitely should just play two ergots, actually. That's way better. Okay, so we just go for like this late game board of like, play every legendary. A two star TF can be our, our carry. I wonder how he's gonna do though, because Infinity Team is not a combat trait, right? It's like a frontline trait, because you, you duplicate one of your units. This TF has zero combat power besides his items. I'm curious to see how good he is. I mean, honestly, he doesn't look bad. It seems like he scales up really hard. Oh wait, I have Spell Slinger. Oh hell yeah, I have the Janna. Oh wow. Okay. I hate to say it, but the correct move is definitely to sell TF and then move all items over. I want to see a TF2 pop up. Oh, there it is. My patience has rewarded me. Alright, what do we got here? So... 
We need to figure out frontline items and backline items. So it's like Infinity Edge. Hodge. Actually, it might be Guard Breaker. Uh, it's probably Declaw. And then Archangels are got! Let's go! AP got prints uh, items for days. Call it an investment. Call him Arch Guy. One Archangels now to print three items later. How could you not do that? Oh, I'm so strong. We go nine, baby. You might be wondering, box box, where's the front line? And the front line's right here, baby. Janna with sunny weather. 600 shield to my whole team. What does Warwick do? Uh, I think he's weak, but he's an admin laser court brawler. And he's supposed to be like, kind of like Jax. But it's weird, because they still have Jax in the game. It's like, why do you have Jax in the game and then Jax? Like, 4.0. Are you gonna play parallel here? No, I don't care about the parallel. The parallel is more important for the, the two star Ezreal than the five star. Dude, look at my TF! Is this not the coolest thing in the world? Pew, 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 pew! Brrr. Wait, what a, what a satisfying unit, actually. Do his cards count as Rage Lord sex? Uh, I would assume no. Why don't you place Urga on the Infinity Team tile? It has to be an Infinity Team unit. So if it was in the back, you could do Ezreal, but it's in the front, so I'll just do Shen. But yeah, it kind of means my position's always locked, though. There's like nothing I can do flexibility-wise. I'm always stuck like this. The cards do count for Rage Blade. Wait, if so, that's ridiculous. That's like, but like that's like super best in slot. Oh god. Kill the Leblanc. Nice. And TF's always casting, so he always gets the damage reduction. Oh, look at the Arch God! Look at the Arch God! He just printed 12 gold! That's investment, baby! That stonks! Oh my god. I could do double Arch God. Or I could get a Fiddle Sticks 2 with a Giant Slayer. No, the, the the crowd demands double arch god. Fiddle six two with giant slayer can wait. Sell once, Ergot. All right, behold the power of double Archgot. This man's gonna print so much money. <laughs> Wait, hey, my treasure went off the screen. Hey, I, I can't grab my treasure and buy the Ezreal now because it went off screen. Hello? Oh. All right, we're going three-star legendary this game. I'll just build, I, I have 25% odds of legendary and I've got double arch god. It's time for a three-star Urgot or Fiddle or Ezreal. Oh my God, imagine the Ezreal. 25 duplicates. Everyone's gonna, you're gonna like crash their graphics card before anything else. What could this combo mean? It's time to die, Twisted Fate guy. Wow, he only has TF1 at level nine. Oh! Wait, I'm just like glued to my TF right now, just watching him throw cards. Does it really give him Gwinsu stacks like that? I farmed so much money off that guy. Go big or go home! 
Do shields stack? If I go like this, do they get like a huge shield right here? Oh, it's 600. All right, guys. Is it time to get a third item for Ezreal? Or is it time for triple arch gut? Wait, I lost econ because... Triple arch gut! Oh, man. All right, down for blue buff. We're printing money today! Holy shit, what am I doing? Wait, I'm like actually straight up trolling. This is such a bad team comp. But <laughs> it's so funny! Won't Blue Buff give you less money? Not if it leads to a second cast. Oh, but all the units- I'm too strong! All the units are dead by the point. I am a robot. Hear me roar. Okay, I'm down to just like hold every legendary. All right, come on, Archgot. Come on, Archgot. I need to see a three-star legendary. Okay, okay, start off with, oh, a shroud? Down to not slam it so I don't kill my opponent as hard. Oh, a Bramble? Oh! Okay, I think I actually lose. Uh-oh. Wait, hang on. Hold up! Uh, I gotta make my board stronger. Hang on. Any, any more legendaries? Okay, what the hell? A full... Dude, what is going on? Okay, hold on, time out. What is this? I see this guy is holding two fiddlestickses. Get the TG for Mord? No, no, get the Urgot for Urgot 3. This guy's holding two fiddles! Madge! <laughs> Nini. I probably should go... Okay, so if this guy's gonna hold two fiddles, or fiddle two, fiddle three is impossible. So I'm actually down to uh, just like give up on him and go for something else that's still possible. Wait, a whole ass gun blade? Dude, my fiddle is so tanky. Dude, what is going on? <laughs> this is wild! Okay, wait, I gotta roll before this guy grooves me further. Come on, legendaries, legendaries. No, not Nunu. Legendaries, legendaries. Okay. Down to sell his fiddle and just try for the other ones. Down to sell board for this. He only has fiddles, so I could actually hit it. I could actually hit one legendary. I'm down down to down to throw the game for it. Oh wait, he has an Ezreal too? Oh he does. Okay, holding on to that's pointless then. 
Oh, I'll still hold it just within the pool. Alright, just roll for anything. Okay, if he has the Ezreal, okay, I, I will sell. Alright, let's do this, come on. In the pool. No. Uh, not fiddle. No. No. It's gotta be mortar. Oh no. He's holding an Urgot to grief me. I have to go for the Mord or the Janna. Three Mords or two Jannas. Alright. Okay, I didn't expect to win that, but it's nice that I did. I guess Urgot's like still possible, but... Oh, come on. What are the odds? I got... I sell board? Wait, does he have a Janna? He doesn't have a Janna. Alright, I'm going in. Come on, Albert. Find just one. Wait, he forfeited so I couldn't get it. Are you serious? He forfeited? He was gonna kick my ass that round and I'd have one life to go for it. Oh, it's so lame. I'm at eight mords, eight Jennas, and he forfeited? Oh, wow, that's the lamest thing I've ever seen in my life. It's on PBE. You don't want to see it? 